Now, as an example of the modulation, we have the amplitude modulation. Suppose this is a message signal and this is a carrier signal. This carrier signal is a cosine wave that has certain frequency omega c. Now, if we multiply the message signal with the carrier wave, we will get this signal. And we call this signal as the amplitude modulated signal. Now, here you can see that this modulated signal has the frequency omega c, but the information in the message is contained in the envelope of this signal. Now, this type of modulated signal is called as the amplitude modulated signal because in this signal, the amplitude of the carrier is varying in accordance with the change in the message signal. And the signal can easily be obtained by multiplying the message signal with the carrier. And this multiplication can be achieved using the mixer. Suppose we have the message signal m of t and we are multiplying it with the carrier cos of omega c t. So we get the amplitude modulated signal m of t into cos of omega c t. Now we can also visualize the amplitude modulation operation in the frequency domain. Suppose the Fourier transform of m of t is this signal. So here we can see that this signal is located at 0 hertz frequency and the bandwidth of this signal is measured from this point to this point. So the bandwidth of this signal is b. And the Fourier transform of the carrier frequency which is the cause of omega ct it is this signal that means that the cause of omega ct can be represented in the frequency domain by two impulses the first one is located at minus omega c and the second one is located at the omega c now the multiplication operation in the time domain is translated into the convolution operation in the frequency domain so in the frequency domain, we convolve this signal with this signal. So after the convolution, two copies of this signal would be formed. The first copy would be formed at minus omega c and the second copy would be formed at the omega c. The minus omega c and the omega c is the location of these two impulses. So this is our amplitude modulated signal in the frequency domain. Now here we can see that this modulated signal is located at the omega c and since it is towards the right side of 0 hertz, so we are going to measure the bandwidth of this signal from this point which is the null point to this point. So in this case the bandwidth of the signal is 2b. So that means that after the modulation the bandwidth of the signal doubles in the case of amplitude modulation.